If you don't know, Stevie, this is one of our most <sighs> loved, beloved um, people yeah. and films. And uh, if you've never seen... It's a documentary. It's a documentary. It's real as <laughs> shit. And you learn things throughout Catfish the Catfish and bass love frogs. I'm smart. I know what to use, <laughs> honey. <laughs> I can't believe you pulled these clips. You didn't even tell me you I did like this. To play. I like to have I can't fun. believe. I'm so excited. We have Stevie now. The podcast. Oh, We've been man. discussing this for a long time, and it's finally here. We I can't have fucking been believe it. Stevie <sighs> fans for a long time. Tommy, I mean, when did we we watch we were watching Stevie together when we were just dating. Twenty. Uh, Eighty-seven years ago, when you and I started seeing each other, Stevie came into our lives. The premise is that the filmmaker is the guy who made Hoop Dreams, which is a which is, a lot of people know that documentary uh, that followed this this uh, Chicago poop, high school Poop Dreams Poop Dreams your the version. Chicago high school uh, <laughs> phenom who could just poop whenever he wanted and, and poop everywhere, and <laughs> people noticed they were like this kid can poop, and one day he could be a pro pooper. <laughs> So they follow him just taking shits for years. What an interesting... Um, is this about you? No, no, no. Oh, this kid okay. in Chi- inner city Chicago. Mm-hmm. But then after that movie, uh, the same filmmaker uh, brought up the fact that, you know, years earlier, he had sort of been a big brother, like a foster right, big brother right. to this kid, Stevie, and he wanted to go revisit him <laughs> and see what Stevie... Uh. What had become of Stevie. And so now, where- he... Yeah, he he had, he had you know the kid had been in the in the foster care like system in right. Illinois, and then the filmmaker, like I said, had him for a while, but then didn't. He knew that he came from a shitty, pretty shitty family background, yeah. and so he revisited him. And while the movie was being filmed, and they're catching up on him, and he is a spectacular mess. Yeah. Um, he gets uh, charged with uh, ch- molesting. molesting his niece, I think. Oh, yeah, he's related. And that's where I get my name Snake from. I ain't afraid of him. <laughs> Never have been, except when I was a kid. <laughs> I go, uh, oh, okay. That's where I get my nickname. No, and nobody, nobody calls him Snake, calls you Snake ever in the movie, ever. That's Never. really one of the, like... Yeah. It's a real great indicator of somebody who's kind of lost it too. Is when you <laughs> you create these things, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like uh, I ain't afraid of them. They call me Hammer because right. I hit harder than a motherfucking sledgehammer. I'll fuck like, shit up with no, my hammer. Who calls you Hammer? Everybody no, calls me Hammer. <laughs> but that, that's why you can't create your own nickname. It has to be yeah. given to he you. He wants to be called Snake. He Desperately, loved, he yeah. heard somebody oh, yeah. call someone else Snake one time. And he was like, "Fuck yeah, I'm Snake." Wait yeah. a minute, wasn't that Sylvester Stallone's name in a movie? Cobra. Or Cobra. Well, that's the same Close shit. Enough. Yeah. yeah. That's where I get my name Snake from. I ain't afraid of him. <laughs> Never have been. And that's oh. not true. That's not true. Mm. Wait, this is in Illinois. That this is the yeah. startling part. Is it? I thought this was like deep south. Now, one of the craziest things. About the film oh. is that he has a girlfriend. <laughs> this is what she sounds like. But when he's on that marijuana and whiskey, <laughs> he gets crazy. <laughs> no, you might have noticed the <laughs> intonation in her voice. But when he's on that marijuana and whiskey <laughs> he gets crazy now before you think oh. we're just making fun of somebody oh. who just maybe speaks a little differently maybe uh, to your ear maybe it sounds like oh is she hearing impaired no <laughs> no she stevie's girlfriend <sighs> is mentally retarded <laughs> he's dating I can't, I can't believe you su- you're surprising me with but this. But when he's I'm on done. that marijuana and whiskey, <laughs> he gets crazy. He's but when dating he's on the- a retarded I'm gonna, person. I'm going to fucking throw up. I can't believe we're doing this. I'm so excited. You just made my entire week with these clips. I, I can't uh, believe you didn't tell me you're doing this. Wait, uh, the best part is like... He's a cute. Well, first of all, who's going to date a guy that's up on child molestation he charges? Ha- and you know what's funny is that in the movie he's probably like thirty, and yeah. he has old man <laughs> child molester glasses. Oh like yeah, he yeah, looks yeah. like an old like those Bill Gates. Wait, is it Bill Gates that had those? Well, Gates corny? when he was younger had yeah. the big fat ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, those real rapey. 
yeah. uh, murder glasses. He is a piece of work. Mm. I mean, you see him. This sounds bad, but you when you see when you first see Stevie, you're like, who's this fucking piece of shit? Like, yeah. This guy is a fucking white trash piece of garbage. <laughs> a lot of teeth missing too. Teeth, the not hair, too many teeth. The glasses, and and you can tell that like his, you know, his intellect level. Let's be honest, it's not. No, but you want to know the irony of the girlfriend is that she's one of the smartest uh, people in the film in his life for in sure. In his world, yeah. And his whole and actually, you know, he's not bright. No, she's probably on on paper uh, supposed to be not. As bright as he is, which is really saying something, she's smarter than him. <laughs> she's way, way years of maturity and, and intellect. Actually, she she's she's pretty bright. She has insight. Yeah, but she she doesn't her. know that he's bad for her, for no which problem. is really the the awful bit. <laughs> no, I want a cigarette. Mm-hmm. He drinks and he does marijuana. <laughs> Wait, remember when they were at the nightclub? So they go to the city one night. Don't mm-hmm. they go to Chicago? Yes. Oh, and yeah. um, and they're dancing, and Stevie gets a little drunk and a little out of control with her. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, no, no dirty dancing, Stevie. No yeah. dirty dancing. She doesn't like the dirty dancing. And well, he, like, forces himself. And then he got upset, and he was like, I was going to knock her in the head one day out here beside the garage because she called me young retarded. I was going to knock her in the head with a claw hammer. With a claw hammer? Oh, what's that? I don't even know what that is. Really? I don't know what fucking... Oh, come on. Do I look like I know what a claw hammer is? Well, you don't just knock somebody in the head with a claw hammer. <laughs> like, right. It was, well, when he could rephrase that, like, I was going to kill her one day. Okay. I was going to knock her in the head one day out here <laughs> beside the garage because she called me young retarded. I was going to knock her in the head with a claw hammer. People don't just do that. They don't just knock people in the head with a claw uh, hammer. You know, some things no. you just don't say. No. Because they call me a retard. Yeah, mm. you see? Mm. And, you know, people changes. People, people changes. People changes. Yeah. I love this guy's <laughs> language. It's so great. Mm. Now, he's... Did, do you happen to have the audio I of when he's about to possibly go to prison? And he's talking to his cousin or his yeah. friends that have been inside. Yeah, I think one of those guys is related to him or something. <laughs> no, I don't have that. I know. That one's really intense. I'll, I'll have to get that pulled. I'm running, a, I'm running Aryan Brotherhood around here. I told Steve, you beat this case, I'll get you in. I'll get you in with me. Get you in. I'll get him in a Brotherhood if he beats the case. I'll go in there and I'll talk to the niggers and I'll talk to the brotherhood. And it's up to this man. Okay. Right, because he's he's telling Stevie like, hey, when you get put in the pen for child molestation, you're fucked. You're you're marked, yeah. But, you know, if you're Stevie, you're kind of like, if you think you're big enough, do it because when you put me down, you better kill me because if you don't, I'm going to kill you. Ooh. (laughs) That's when Snake... Snake feels or, like biting. He's a rattler, you know? and he's not that big. He's not a big dude. Not a big guy. Um, no. God, it's good. She ripped my ring out of my ear, and I had to go to the hospital and have stitches over that. And when I asked her that one time, I said, "Have you ever been hit by a guy?" She said, "No." I said, "Well, now you have. I'm not like these other men that you can run over and just push around." I said, "I'm myself, but I've got a temper. I can control it." Oh man. God damn. I love this movie, man. So good. Love this movie. It's uh, a movie that brought us together. It I, really I is. Think. This is early on. Yeah. That this is how I knew that you and I oh, you're gonna fucking fart into the God damn 